Hi everyone, Petal is Bless here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm coming on today to share with you guys some blinked out storage and jewelry boxes that I'm going to make. I'm making these for some last minute Christmas gift ideas that I want to give out to some young ladies. <laughs> so let me show you the items that I'll be using. Okay, I got this little jewelry box here. And this one and this one I got them from Dollarama and this one I have from the Dollar Tree and I have some square mirrors from Dollar Tree and the silver paint and also white paint we have our Mod Podge and some glitter and we have our crushed pieces you guys yep and we have some of our gems the small ones that you can get from Walmart I'll be using those sizes and we have an E6000 and our tools and our glue gun. All right, everyone, let's get started. All right, we're going to start by painting our boxes. Well, this one, I'm going to glue it down because this one, I'm not using it as a storage box. I'm just going to use it as a riser. So I'm just gluing the lid down just for this box only. And now we're just going to paint our boxes gray. We'll be putting two coat on this one and on this box I'll be putting around three coats just to hide the the markings that are on the box. I have to put like around three coats and on this box we'll be doing it white and some of the other boxes I'll be doing with white also but you guys get the idea you know just put two or three two or um, so coats over the boxes and that's fine. Okay now that our box is dry we're gonna Add our Mod Podge, <laughs> a generous amount over the top, and add our crushed glass, you guys. Alright ladies, like I always tell you, please use gloves. Use gloves when handling these crushed glass. I don't want you to get hurt. And then come back and yell at me. <laughs> like I said, I do a lot of mosaic pieces. I handle the glass, and honestly... I have never gotten cut. I hopefully I won't get cut anyways. But um, like I know I just handled the, the, the broken piece as well. But for you, please use gloves. Use um, a spoon, something to lift them up to place them on. No problem. But um, you know, for me, I just do it. And as you can see, I show you my fingers all the time. I don't get cut. I don't know why, but I just don't. But for you, please, please, please. Use something when handling these frozen pieces. Okay, ladies, let's continue. And now we're going to do the same for this jewelry box. Mod Podge and our crush glass. All the way around, just bling it out. <laughs> and when we're finished putting the crushed glass on all our um, all of my pieces, I'm gonna go back over with Mod Podge, like I told you, two to three coats, and let it dry between each coat, and then the glass will just stay on without any problems. Remember, when you're finished, go back over with the Mod Podge, Mod Podge. <laughs> with two or three coats yeah and that will help seal in the crushed glass pieces <laughs> okay now I'm gonna add some gems to this jewelry box And these size gems you can get at Walmart or at Michael's. And for this box, I'm going to put the Dollar Tree mirror, the square mirror on top. I took off the black tops, tabs, sorry you guys. And we're using the E6000 and the glue gun. And place the mirror on top of the box. And for this one, this is the Dollar Tree box. I'll also be placing a square mirror on top of this one also. 
E6000 glue gun and then we just place the mirror down on top of the lid. And here's our finished look you guys. OMG, I think they turned out so nice. And here I did one in gold with the Dollar Tree box so you guys could see how it would look against a different color background, gold. And this one, Dollar Tree box also in silver. And then here is our white. Just give you the three different looks how the crushed glass would look against different color background paints. And um, this box here, I sprinkled some glitter on this box. This gray box here, I put glitter and also this white box. I added some glitter. Just these two end boxes, I added glitter. The other ones, I just left plain without glitter, you guys. I think they look so beautiful. My Christmas labor of love. <laughs> like I told you, I have these. I made these boxes to give away to some young ladies that I have. And I think they'll really like them. They could store their jewelry in them. Or any little knickknacks that they want to put. It'll be perfect. Tell me where he gone, gone. Tell me why you may not have. All right, so here they are. This is the gold one. I think it looks so nice with the gold background. OMG, I like this one. <laughs> and you know, there's a storage inside. Now this is a Dollar Tree box, and this one's also a Dollar Tree box, you guys. I got these from the Dollar Tree. And they could use them for storage. I think they're so nice. I didn't paint the insides, as you can see. And this one is a lovely box also. I got this one from Dollarama. Nice for storage. And you see I blinged it out <laughs> with the gems. And this little one also. Nice storage or jewelry box. Now those four I'll be giving away. And this one is for me. I'm using it just as a little um, decor piece throughout my home. I don't want it for storage just as an accent piece. That's why I glued it like I showed you in the beginning. Yeah, so there are my boxes, you guys. I think they look so nice with the crushed glass. Alright, everyone. I hope I've inspired you once again. It was another lovely DIY for you guys to do. You know, these boxes can be given out as gifts. Or you could even keep it for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming on and seeing the DIY that I had to do for today. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. So you can see more of the DIYs that I come up with to share with you guys. And I want everyone to have... I wish everyone has a very Merry Christmas this year. And enjoy your holidays, you guys. Yeah. And remember, as always... Stay blessed from Petal is blessed. Bye-bye, everyone.